Hi everyone, welcome back to Backyard Russia and today we are going to do a requested video as I mentioned in one of our past videos that there is a new sort of Ikea-ish store called Hof and today that is where we're going to go to show you what it's like. before um, uh, in our last video IKEA is no longer open we don't know if it's permanently closed or only port closed for a period of time um, but when IKEA did close down uh, I think it's more coincidental but another shop has opened that's called Hoff and to the best of my knowledge it is a German franchise I think I'm not sure the name's Hoff which sounds German but yeah I'm not sure if it, if it is German or not um, so we are going today to check it out and see what it's like and see if it's the sort of place that we would shop at or just to show you guys around and show you what it's like a brand new shop that's opened up in our area. To the best of my knowledge it's the only one in Novosibirsk but I'm not 100% sure about that. So yeah, we'll see you when we get to the shop. No ah. uh, what's I'm the what's the process like? Similar. Three, four, nine, nine. This is a double row one. Birthday season in our house, so I need to get my own set of cake decorating tips and piping bags. I know you got all the um, party uh, cupcake mm -hmm. paper mm, cups. Yeah, it does come up oh. Pastry rollers. Hey, what are these for? That cuts out biscuits. Cuts out circles. Cuts out circles. Yeah. What a cool idea. I haven't my quilts throw rugs here, so I have to keep looking to see if they've got it. Oh, they've still got these type of uh, lamps. 
right there, a little bit different. <laughs> Look at these, this is pretty cool. Yeah, I like them. That's a cool idea. Very nice idea. That's a good idea. It's not real cheap, but pretty cool because you can just like keep building them. It's like the whole city. It's good. So we finally got into the area where they've got like mock-ups of different things, you can buy like um, storage options and stuff and uh, it's starting to feel a little bit more like IKEA. The first section felt a little bit more like uh, Pasuda Center, um, which is another shop that's here that sells kind of like cutlery and bed linen and all that kind of stuff. Now we're kind of starting to see a little bit more kind of ikea -y sort of thing. Nate likes this one. She likes the color, I think. You find the fr throw rugs? I like that one there. The only one that's cotton and it's like quilted. But I really like it. It's nice. $3,599. Yeah. It's just basically uh But it's cotton. They're hard to find these days. Oh, this, this one's in special? Bigger. This is even bigger. Oh good. But look at that, it's gorgeous. No, oh, it's probably double, so you can just cut it in half. <laughs> Do you, do you like the little doggy ones? Yes. The doggy pillows. Oh yes, you got something to say too. This is a cleaning section. Hey, they sell the brand you buy. Bins over there. One thing they could learn from IKEA is uh, not to have such um, kind of aggressive almost music not like aggressive aggressive but it's not relaxing it makes you feel like you've got to move through quickly um, ah, this is better music already home decorative section keep looking forward we don't need any more blocks curtain rods So we've done the, uh, the bottom floor now, now we're going to go over to the escalator and uh, to the travelator and go upstairs and see So here we are upstairs, 28,000 for this kitchen, 24,299 for the oven, goes to 250, has one, two, three, four, oh, sorry, three regime, the number's already falling off. Ooh. Very good. Power is on. Rustic collection. I no guess. <laughs> I like them. They feel like solid. Um, they're like a and brick. But the alarm is like show back alarm. Show back alarm. <laughs> Forty-two thousand eight hundred ninety-nine. 60 litre oven. So this is the size um, thing it would have been as a bench or really? Do you like that? Oh this kitchen looks right. Yeah this one right here. We have a kitchen right here. That is an interesting uh, Rangehood, 52,499, wow. Mm -hmm. Monfield.
I like the colour of the bench top, like a concrete bench top. You just form it up yourself. Have a look at that. You like that? Ho oh, ho, we might even have a concrete bench top. Okay, so if you're wondering about guarantee, this has a 30 year guarantee. Okay, gorgeous. This one also has a 30 year guarantee. 201,000 rubles for this kitchen. One thing I'll say about um, this place is that the kitchens and all that, they, it just seems a little bit more open walking through here so far. Um, and now we're going to walk through this section and get proved wrong. You found your future tab? I think this is a little too steep though, personally. Yeah? Or it depends on when you put it on your sink, I think. But you can't really get to the you want to be able to get to the middle. I like the feel. Ah, the so it's the wrong one so for that. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's a really good idea too. I like that idea. Oh, yeah. Is it a spice rack? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not a bad idea. I wonder if it warms up when next to the oven. It smells spicy all. Every time you cook that one. Two TVs in one room? <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> this looks nice. Is that real wood? It looks like it's real timber. I think it's bamboo. Yeah, I'm gonna have to inspect it closer. But it looks like it could be some kind of solid timber. So we've uh, not been super impressed with everything up until this point, but this is actually solid timber. It's uh light gauge, but Seems a little bit better. It's got a solid timber price tag. 103,999. Is it good? Seen behind the scenes here. Behind the scenes, yeah. Not ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is the discount center. Best beds, best beds in the uh, whole shop. Well, this is a solid timber. Nice. I like this. Table's a bit small. Uh, table's a bit small. Good for a small room, I guess. Mm. It goes out a little bit. Just in case you have a crowd, like we do. A crowd of this is four it. Or five. We had a table this size. There's a um, pie chair at one end, and it's about kind of a bigger family. That would be tragic. Okay, time to go and pay for our stuff and have money to home. Have morning tea at home. <laughs> Children are certainly ready for it. They are. You ready for morning tea? Yes. yes. That wasn't very enthusiastic. We made our first purchase at Hoff. Yeah. I ain't telling you my first secrets. Okay. I won't tell anybody if you don't. <laughs> So guys, if you did like this video, um, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and uh, let us know what you thought down in the comments below. Was it a shop that you would shop at? Um, do you have other shops that you prefer to shop at if you're in Russia? Um, yeah, we kind of weren't overly impressed with some of the furniture options because they just seemed a little bit 
cheap. Yeah. Um, some of the ideas though that Very we saw good. there were pretty good. Um, I like the layout here better than IKEA. It's a lot easier to just go to where you know you have what you want. No, it's um, just a labyrinth. Whereas with IKEA, you know, quite often I'd know where I wanted to go and what I wanted to get. <laughs> but I had to walk the whole way around the thing just like... If you're in a hurry, it's not the nicest place to go. Whereas here, it's more open plan. You can go exactly where you want to go. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video. We hope you liked it. Share it with your friends. Um, we will be moving to Telegram. If you haven't already gone there, you can find a link down in the description below. Um, and uh, with the possibility of YouTube being blocked in Russia, we will be... Um, looking at other options yandex zen will be one of those options and maybe rumble or something like that um, we're still looking into which is the best option so if you guys have a preferred a platform that you're already using don't forget to let us know down in the comments mm. we'd love to hear from you and uh yeah that's it thanks for watching um we really appreciate your support and uh until next time take care and bye bye